Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can add 3D characters to revolve around the characters in a video using Element 3D plugin in Adobe After Effects easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way, if you like short 3D simulation videos, you can check out my second channel, link in the description description so now without any further ado let's start today's video so here we are in after effects now let's start this by importing our footage onto this project panel so for that right click on this project panel import select the file or else you can directly select the footage and drop it onto this project panel now again select your footage and drop it onto this composition icon here so that it creates a new composition with the footage properties so here i got the footage of mine doing some weird stuff okay so here i will reduce this length to 8 seconds so be on that 8 second press n on the keyboard for n frame right click trim come to work area so sorry for the bad quality here so in order to make this kind of video first we need to separate the character from the background so you can use green screen to separate the background and character easily but here i want to show you how we can separate our characters without using green screen that is by using roto so let's do roto first so select the footage layer first duplicate it by pressing ctrl plus d or else you can go to this edit and we can duplicate it from here so let me hide out this below layer and let me rename this as a roto okay so now select this roto layer be on the first frame while doing this roto so here we got this roto option just click on this roto brush and double click on the footage so here you can see we got this green circle which is a roto brush so if you want to increase or decrease the scaling or size of the brush hold ctrl key hold left mouse and simply drag the mouse sideways so you can see if i move upward it is increasing the brush size if i move downward it is decreasing the brush size so i will keep the brush size to this here so before selecting our character first we need to set the resolution to full so further go to this view options resolution set it to full make sure that roto layer is selected let us go to this view resolution set it to full okay so now be on the first frame make sure you are on the first frame and now we can select the character so simply hold left mouse key and simply drag on the character like this so here you can see we got this outlines here so if you want to check clearly or see clearly just click on this icon so if i click on this we will get this red color or red mat around our character which indicates our subject is selected here so if you want to deselect anything so if you observe this space here clearly we got some unwanted space here so hold alt key the circle turns to red now select this unwanted area just click that so now it is deselected so after selecting the character here you can set the feather value so currently the feather is set to 5 so i'll increase this to 10 so that i get some smoothness on the edges okay so after that press space bar to make this roto start so here you can see our roto is happening frame by frame so if you observe clearly at this below few of the frames were grayed out so once this cursor comes to this grayed out area it will again ask us to select the character so before coming to this grayed out area only stop in between and select the character once again and continue this rotor so stop that and let me select this once again and let me continue this so this is time consuming process as it goes frame by frame and also we need to refine the edges so again this is selected so hold alt key and deselect that one so let me finish this one for you and i will be back once this is done so here our roto is done okay so now if i come to this composition footage and now we can see we got this alpha channel so in order to see this alpha channel we need to click on this toggle transparency option so if i click on this toggle transparency we can see we got this transparent background so this is the main footage with background and this is 
the footage with only our character so the main object is we need to have our character separated from the background either you can use green screen or you can do manually masking if you got patience or you can do this rotoscoping so once the rotoscoping is done let's render this out with alpha channel so in order to render this out first let's add this to render queue so go to this composition add to render queue now let me show you the settings for the render to get this alpha channel so output module let me change this to quick time okay so this channels option is important if you want to have the transparent background so currently this is set to rgb means we won't get the transparency so we need to select this rgb plus alpha change it to rgb plus alpha and okay now let me select the output folder so here i got this roto one and let's render this out so here our render is done so now let's move back to this footage layer and now we can delete this roto so it's better to delete the roto layer because the preview will be slow when we move forward in the timeline so now let me delete this roto layer and let's import the video which we have rendered just now so first of all let me change this resolution to quarter and let me get this rotored one this is the one which we have rendered just now drop it onto this project panel and again drop it onto this timeline just about our main footage layer so if i hide out this below footage layer you can see we got the transparency and the preview will be smooth nice so let's bring back this footage layer and now let's add solid layer for element 3d so for that go to this layer options new create a solid and let me rename this as element and hit ok so now come to this window enable effects and presets and look for element so select this element and drop it onto this element layer so now click on the scene setup button so here we got a new window open to work in element 3d so first of all let me import a skull model here so here i got this skull model from free3d.com i will leave a link in the description for that model to download okay so let me import that model so in order to use 3d models in element 3d we need to download obj formats okay so click on this import button so here i got the skull model import and let it be from bottom and okay so here we got the skull model now click on this normalize size and first of all let me change the material on this so i will use wood material so simply select drag and drop onto that so that we get this wood or else let me make it white okay now let me rotate this one so come to this orientation options and let me rotate this here thing 90 fine and now right click aux animation set it to channel one so this skull model is in group one and we have set this skull model to aux animation channel one so if i click on this environment tab here we can see the environment here so this model is in this environment but we got the footage in different environment with a different environment so let's load the footage environment here so actually we need to use 360 image since i don't have 360 image i will be using a screenshot of the same video it will work just fine for this so let me load that one so come to this environment click here so here you can see we got the screenshot where i am also included in that footage in the screenshot and okay so now this model is in our environment footage environment so that the reflections will fall on the 3d object and it makes it look real so let's hide out this environment once again and if you want to increase the metallic or shininess select the material click on this glossiness or reflectivity value so i will reduce the glossiness to 25 percent okay so i think this is fine so now let's click on this ok button so here you can see we got our model here so now come to this group one since it is group one we will be working in group one so expand this group one first come to this particle replicator options and particle shape change it to ring 
and particle count i will change this to 10 and now increase this shape scale value so if i keep on increasing we can say we are getting this separated so first of all let me reduce the scaling so for that we need to come to this particle look and particle size let me reduce this to 7 so i think this is fine so now let's rotate this curls so for that we'll be using aux channel so come to this aux channel so this this is in group 1 aux channel 1 so we'll be coming to this aux channel 1 so we are working in group 1 in group 1 we'll be working with aux channel 1 so now come to this rotation z rotation so let me change this to minus 90 so that the skulls will be facing this way and let me reduce the scale shape so i think this much is fine okay so 28 is fine nice so now let's make this skull objects revolve around the subject so for that we will be using this group 1 rotation option so we will not be using aux animation or aux channels for the revolving animation we will be using the main group 1 rotation so beyond the first frame for that expand this rotation so now come to this y rotation beyond the first frame add a keyframe for this y rotation move to the last frame and let me give a value of minus 2 and let's see this. so if i play this we got the skulls revolving here so the speed is a bit high so i will reduce this to minus one so let's see so i think the speed is enough and also let me tilt this so x rotation let me reduce this here and bring here so here you can see we got this skulls revolving but if we observe clearly here the character will be moving but the skulls will be staying in its position so let's fix that so for that we need to track this footage so let me head to this element layer select this roto layer here so select this roto layer now come to this window options tracker now select this track motion so beyond the first frame while doing that make sure this roto layer is selected and click on this track motion so here you can see we got this track point here so for this also let's make the resolution to full and let's select the tracker and i will place the first tracker here at the corner of the eye now enable this rotation and let me select this one and let me place this at the corner here so after that just click on this analyze forward button so it starts to analyze the movement or motion in the footage so here our tracking is done and it is looking good okay for this so if at any frame if the track point is lost we can adjust this manually so let me show you so be on the last frame for this demonstration purpose select the track point here and adjust the track position and after that we can click on analyze forward button so if the track point is lost at any point or at any frame we can adjust that manually in this way so now we need to assign this tracking data to a null object so further go to this layer options new create a null object so here we got a null object created so now we need to select the target so click on this edit target and we need to select the null object which we have created hit ok and now we can apply the tracking point so click on this apply so dimensions let it be x and y and hit ok so now we can see we got this null object so this have the tracking data so now we need to transfer this tracking data to element 3d so for that let me select the element 3d and scroll down come to this group utility options expand this group create group null expand this one and simply click on this create button so now we got a group 1 null created of element 3d so now select this null 1 press p on the keyboard so select this group 1 null press p on the keyboard so null object consists the tracking data so select the position make sure you are on the first frame while doing this so select the position copy Control c now select this group 1 null created of element 3d select the position and paste so now we can say we got the data transferred from null 1 to group null so now we can delete this null object if you want or let me hide out this one okay 
so now if i bring back the element 3d so now if i play this we can see the movement of the head and the movement of the objects here so the objects will follow the movement of the track data so in this way we can make objects to follow the tracking data in element 3d nice so now we need to fix another issue so here we want these skull objects to be moving backward of our character so let's do that so further we need to select the rotor layer once again which is our rendered layer so click on this toggle switches to get the 3d options make it 3d object so make it 3d layer by enabling this 3d option so now if i go to this top view this is our rotor layer which is at the center of this circle of skulls so this is what we want we want our rotor layer or the character without any background to be at the center of this 3d objects okay so let's move back to this active camera now select this element layer duplicate it by pressing ctrl plus d or else go to this edit and duplicate that one now select below element 3d layer and drop it below to this roto layer so let me get rid of this null one we don't want that so we got two element layers and between them we got the roto layer that is the character without any background now select this above element layer come to the last output properties expand it and show change it to world position so it turns to black and white okay so now let me increase the position z mat value so i think let it be here so here the objects which are in complete white will be forward and the objects which are in black will be backward so once this is set in the form of like this select this element layer let me drop it so select this roto layer let it be in world position only so let it be in world position don't change it to composite let it be in world position only select this roto layer which is the character without background click on this toggle switches come to this track mat options and change it to luma inverted mat so now we can say we got these skulls behind our character so if i move this we can see that clearly so in this way we can make any 3d object go behind our main character main footage character okay so now select this below element layer come to the render settings enable ambient occlusion and intensity i will change this to h so i think this is fine and now if i play this you can see we got the skulls revolving around our character so if you want to change the shape from this ring to sphere we can do that so let me select this above element layer come to this replicate a shape change it to sphere and also select this below element layer and change that to sphere now you can see we got these skulls in sphere shape if i play this we can see now these are rotating in sphere if you want to increase the count we can do that so select the element layer let me increase this to 16 count and also select the another element layer and also increase this to 16 count okay so now if i play this we got the skulls moving around in sphere form so for this we need to adjust world z values here a bit so here you can see we are not getting this complete visible so select this element above element layer so come to this position z mat and let's play with the value here so if i change the value to negative value you can see now it is completely disappearing for now i will change this to ring only and also let me change this to ring okay so let me reduce this to 12 and also select the above element layer and let me reduce the particle count to 12 okay so now if i play this 
you can see we got our required animation so in this way we can create this kind of cool effects in adobe after effects using element 3d plugin easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye